What is going on guys? Welcome to Gumper's videos. My name is indeed Kyle, Kyle Gumper. <sighs> Battlefield Earth. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about one of the most annoying properties of this entire movie. Why did the cameraman, the cinematographer, the DP, why did that moron think holding the camera like that? I think it was okay. Please, tell me. What was going through your mind, sir? It would look epic in scale. That makes it look so dramatic. For God's sakes, man. It's a fucking camera. Hold it straight, sir. Trying to watch a movie here, and you were like, ooh. Am I cool yet, sir? Okay, now that the biggest problem, well, not the biggest problem, but the most annoying problem is out of the way. Let's get into the story. <laughs> Wow, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Wait, let, let's, let's talk about this first, please. So, explain to me. How did a bunch of militarized, experienced people with years, and I mean years of training under their belt, with thousands and thousands, not even thousands, millions and millions of military soldiers, not even just the United States, not just the United States, I'm talking about every single country out there. How in the living shit did they fucking fail, but yet a bunch of fucking cavemen who learned to fly and use guns in like seven days, which is totally impractical, how did they fucking win? There was like seven jets, seven jets used in this entire film, and they're like, ooh, we can't, we can't win. There's seven cavemen who learned how to fly last fucking week. How is the, the, the cyclos, or whatever the fuck they're called, how in the living dick do they have a, a fucking head so big, but yet they're so stupid? They're calling us man animals, okay? So that's trying to show you how inferior we are as a species. But yeah, how did a caveman, yes, a caveman, outsmart you at several different occasions? And why? Why are you going to find the one who seems to be the most resourceful, the smartest, and the most rebellious? And why are you going to teach him your language, your history, your planet? Why are you going to teach him how to fuck a flying jet? It makes no sense! You're giving the guy who has leadership skills who is the smartest, the most rebellious, and, the, 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 and why are you gonna give him the, the, the tools to beat you? It makes no sense! It makes no sense whatsoever! Why are you calling us man animals? You're fucking stupid! You're literally stupid! I think the majority of my rants are over. I, I, I was not gonna build up my anger for this one. I like literally had to explode with rage. How? moronic these guys are not just the not just the cyclos the actual people the humans they're pretty stupid too there's different occasions where why didn't you just kill john travolta's character shoot him in the face because we, because we can't do that we can't do that just fucking shoot him <sighs> okay i'll say this surprisingly this is not the worst movie i reviewed in my wtf series but it is definitely the most agitating because I'm pretty sure in your straight to DVD horror films, those kids that you would see, like the Jug, the Hooker, the Stoner, the Black Guy, those guys have more brain cells than everyone in this movie combined. <laughs> Exhibit A. What is this, Gump? What are you showing me? Well, it's a Snowway uh, drink cup thing. Yeah. That literally has more character development in it than any of these characters. Any of these characters. Literally, we're following a human that we, we don't know anything about. And like not even five seconds of him on screen, we're supposed to care about him because his dad died, a guy we've never seen? Tell me how that works. Tell me how that works. The guy that's got the most character development is John Travolta, and I hated his character because how fucking stupid he was. He was the most moronic. He, he, like, literally, his greed got his entire species killed. And what's with the, the, the guy that, that's his friend? I forget the actor's name. He's a really good actor. What's he doing in here? Literally, John Travolta's scene 
three different times, three different times he saw that his, his partner in crime was trying to backstab him and then yet he does nothing about it. Nothing about it. Oh my God. And this entire movie, this entire takeover, this entire world domination that they had was over gold. You didn't do your research on the human race? You didn't even ask if we mined gold before? Like, if there's gold in Fort Knox, and there's like, I'm talking about like billions of pounds of it apparently, billions, you didn't know about that? Then how did you know there was gold on Earth to begin with? Because you had to do research. Then why didn't you research where the gold was to begin with? And how did you take over the human race if you're that stupid and you didn't know one lick of English? So no wonder why the humans are not good slaves because you don't know how to speak to them. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I literally can't do it. This is the most agitating film I've seen in a while. And like, I mean that. It's so fucking agitating. What a segue. Cat the hat was funny. And this one really makes me want to just kill somebody. I want to kill a box of puppies right now. That's how I feel right now. The Cyclos want to go to Earth for gold. They enslave the human race, basically putting them near extinction. When there's like, probably like 500, 1,000 humans left they managed to get their dick so hard that they needed to get so greedy when they were that close to victory that close to victory you're gonna bust your load because what you didn't get to leave earth boo fucking you what because you're so intelligent that you don't deserve to be on earth Last time I checked, you're more stupid than the half of us. It, it is hard to watch. I can't stress enough. I, 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 it's so hard to watch something when literally half the cast has probably a brain cell in a dream. Like it's just so, so difficult. Let's talk about one final thing that really made me scratch my head. The Cyclo's planet, Cyclo. Wow, what original. The entire air surrounding the planet is radioactive. So you're going to tell me a bunch of trigger-happy Jamaican Bob Marley's didn't have one expo explosion. I find that suspiciously hard to believe. I really do. You're telling me not one minor explosion happened. And not only that, you see fire spitting out of the entire planet. Like you, like you see like factories like fire, fire, fire. So, you know what an explosion mostly consists of? FIRE! I'm done. I can talk about anything in this movie, and somehow I'll manage to go back to how stupid these people are. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this movie. I really am. This movie is literally a disease and needs to be burned. It needs to be burned. It's awful. I'm gonna give this movie one out of five stars. Just... Just awful. Just... Awful. I can't wait for next week. God, I hope it's funny because I really can't take another like spaz attack. I have a Twitter, Instagram, comes underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap.